top 10 for you guys. Today's top 10 is going to be my top 10 all-time favorite television show couples. Now, I have scrutinized over this list, like made the list, marked them out, because it's very hard, very tedious to do like a top 10 because you're like, am I going to forget somebody? Oh my gosh, if I forget this person, people are going to get mad at me. So yeah, it took me a long time to come up with this list. And as always, I will say this is my list. Now, there are probably going to be some couples not on this list, and you're like, what? Either I have not watched that show, so yeah, or I just wasn't a huge fan of the couple. As always, these are my opinions. So yeah. By the way, these might get a little bit spoilery, so I might say couples that you're still watching the show and you're like, oh, I didn't know they're together. Just throwing that out there. So in case you see something, don't leave me hate comments. So there could be spoilers. Just saying. Number 10, I'm going to put Dan and Blair from Gossip Girl. Now they were a short-lived couple, but they are one of my all-time favorite couples. I really like them more than Chuck and Blair. Ugh, throw stones at me, I know you are, because there's so many Chuck and Blair strippers out there. And I was one too, but I just really love the chemistry that Blair and Dan had together. They were both kind of headstrong, they were both kind of stubborn, and I really loved them together, and I really wished we could have saw them as Endgame, but, you know, things happen, you usually don't get what you want in TV shows, or at least I didn't. But I will always love them because I just, they're two of my favorite characters on that show, and I loved watching them together. Number nine. This is a kind of a new couple, but I love them. And that is Nick and Jess from New Girl. New Girl is one of my all-time favorite shows. It's in its third season now on Fox, and I just can't get enough of it. And I have been Nick and Jess shipper from day one. I just, I love them together. They're super cute, super adorable. I just, I'm a huge fan of Nick Miller. Like, I love Nick Miller. I love him. So... Yeah, I'm excited to have them as number nine. At number eight, I have Rory and Logan from Gilmore Girls. Yes, of course there's gonna be Gilmore Girls on this list. It's my favorite show. I love Logan. Um, a lot of people don't like this ship, honestly, because Logan is kind of like a know-it-all smarty, but I have liked Logan. I really felt like he was there for Rory. I really felt like he was a good boyfriend, and I am sad with the ending of the show. Because if you've seen the ending of the show, he proposes, and then she's like, I, I'm not ready for that. I'm ready to go off to be, like, the jet setter of the world, which I totally get, but I still, all of our fangirl hearts, like, just kind of died. Because I was like, can't have your cake and eat it too, huh, Rory? <laughs> but nevertheless, they're still one of my favorite ships. Number seven is Lily and Marshall from How I Met Your Mother. If you guys watch this show, you just know how perfect they are together. They're just a, an amazing couple, and they're very cute to watch, and it's an adorable type of love. Um, I think they're just a cute couple, honestly. Uh, of course, I, I love Allison Hannigan because she was Willow and Buffy, but I just really love the chemistry they have, and it's really a really cute couple. I love them. Number six, Corey and Topanga from Boy Meets World. I, I almost forgot to put them on this list until somebody looked at it over and they said, no boy meets world, and I was like, oh my gosh. Corey and Topanga is like the ultimate ship. Like, in the 90s, Corey and Topanga were like the it couple, at least on TV shows. <laughs> and I have loved Corey and Topanga forever. I'm super beyond thrilled for Girl Meets World coming out next year, this year? I don't know, but I can't wait to get more of Corey and Topanga Matthews in my life because Ah, I love it. I'm with another Gimmo Girls, and it's gonna be Rory and Dean. Now, Dean was like the quintessential perfect TV boyfriend. Like, he was just amazing. Well, I'm talking about the early days, not like after he was married, so no, no, no. But early on, Dean was just awesome. I really loved him. Him and Rory had a good chemistry, and he was just the, the sweetest, nicest boyfriend ever. Like, every girl deserves a Dean in her life, honestly, if I'm being real. Jim and Pam from The Office. This is another, like, it couple, I think, on every single, like, you know, TV guides, best couples, Jim and Pam will be on because Jim and Pam were just kind of soulmates that took a long time for them to find each other. And the first three seasons, you're like hitting your television, like, wake up, Jim, wake up, Pam, or mainly wake up, Pam, honestly. And it just took them so long to find each other. But when they did, I really loved it. And I did love the last couple seasons because. We got to see like a rough patch with them and normally a lot of people don't like that but I really felt that that depicted the realness of a situation. Like I thought that was a real life relationship with her struggles and all that stuff. I thought they portrayed it beautifully because I think that's how a marriage is. You go through struggles like that and I'm glad they portrayed it and of course they came out because overall love is just the best and I love them. Or number three. I messed my list all up. Anyway, it's Luke and Lorelai from Go Glory Girls. Another ship that I just am obsessed with. I think I think this is number three. Number three, Logan Laura? 
I don't know, I mess this list up. But Luke and Lorelai, just like The Office, you, they are soulmates and it takes them so long to get it right. Even when they were together, they broke up, got that, it's just like, oh, get it together, guys, get it together. And by the end, you get that little bittersweet moment, but I was like, I need more. But I love Luke and Lorelai, the way they quip, the way it's just kind of cattiness, and I love them. Number two, Buffy and Angel from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I am a Buffy and Angel shipper for life. Like, a lot of people like Buffy and Spike. I like Buffy and Angel. As soon as I saw Angel, the tall, dark vampire, I was drawn in immediately. And I knew I wouldn't leave his ship side ever. And I still have it. I like to think Buffy and Angel are out there somewhere together. Maybe they're not. Maybe it's Buffy and Spike. I don't know, but I hope it's Buffy. You guys ready for my number one ship? Drum roll, please. Wait, that's not. Da -da -da. I don't have any drums. That's that's okay. <laughs> it's going to be Joey and Pacey from Dawson's Creek. And I really thought about this. Like, I know some of these shows, like Gilmore Rose is my favorite, Buffy's my favorite. Dawson's Creek is not like my ultimate favorite, but I gotta admit, if I had to pick a couple that is my favorite of all time it has to be Joey and Pacey like I just love them I'm a huge Pacey Witter fan like I just love his wit his charm and I love Joey and I love watching them take forever to get together and it was just oh I love Joey and Pacey like that's like my ship my ultimate tv ship Joey and Pacey um as far as other couples I'm just gonna mention two that I really wanted to put on the list but I didn't um Kevin and Winnie from the Wonder Years if you guys have not watched the Wonder Years if you're too young for it. God bless your soul. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Seriously, it's on Netflix. Go watch The Wonder Years. Amazing show. Kevin and Winnie, so adorable. And fun fact, if you haven't watched The Wonder Years, you should because the guy that plays Kevin is Corey Matthews' real life um, older brother. I think, what is his, it's, so Corey Matthews is Ben Savage and then the guy that plays Kevin in um, The Wonder Years is Fred Savage. So, if you like Blue Meets World, go hop on to Wonder Years. What are you waiting for? And the other couple is Seth and Summer from the OC. I wasn't a huge fan of the OC, but I've always liked Seth and Summer. As you can tell, I like the kind of bantery, witty couple. That's just my thing, I guess. Anyway, that is all for me. Um, yeah, let me know what are some of your favorite television show couples, because I'm sure there's some I missed, and you're going to let me know. But anyway, those are just my favorites, and yeah. I will see you guys next time without drumsticks in my hand like a weirdo. Bye.